Hello! <coughs> oh, that was rough. Everybody, and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. Yes. It is I, your hostess of District 17, mind you. Uh, for anybody who's new to this channel, this is just a weekly. This is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, all four corners within the circle as well as outside of it. To see what might be going on in your week, the subconscious, the shadow, maybe you're working your own shadow work as it is. Things that you might not even know that's going on in the background, right? We're going with good old traditional writer weight because, you know, that's what we do. This is for... what the fuck is it? It's for the... well, the technically today, but it's late, so we'll say like the 20th, 21st... <coughs> 5th, 27th. Remember Cross Watchers? Switch where you need to. Take everything with a pound of salt that ain't yours. Right? Right. And remember, this is just a card game. Won't work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will and it'll surprise you. You just boop your nose and away it goes. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm done. Alright, anyway. Who are we reading first? Air signs. You have the Four of Swords reverse. <coughs> Mm. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, so, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. I just dropped half the deck on the floor, but that's it. I'll take those since they're facing already. Alright. Air signs. Gemini, you're up first. You have, like, the Ace of Swords reverse as well as the Ten of Cups. The lies in between that is an open door. Hmm. Let us see, y'all. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> also, I hope you don't mind cursing, cause fuck is my favorite word. Along with asphyxiation, but that's because I'm kind of crazy too. Now, Gemini, there's something that you're slightly confused about. When it comes to this home, this business, how people participate in the bazaar. And you're looking at happiness after trying to heal yourself. And there is a close, an open door up here. And this also could represent you since you are the twins after all. Also, 11, 11 for anybody who's into the numerology stuff like that. Uh-oh. You might be looking for some truth, or it's a Libra, or an Aquarius you're dealing with, right? He's sitting there. He's not saying anything harsh right now, but he will smite those who do not feel worthy to him to enter this fucking door. Right? There's a lot of baggage that came up to you guys. And you're still kind of sad about the cups that went like, you know, blah, blah, but you still got your two cups that are filled, so it's time to move on. And you are trying to manifest. Yes. Good deal. Because, you know, like, there's an... Ah. You know, ever since I've seen the bug in the Ace of Pentacles, it's made me really cautious about the Ace of Pentacles all of a sudden. Okay, right? Gemini, you guys are definitely, like, some sort of duality or whatever, right? There's lack of clarity when it comes to the family, the business, the deals, the adventures, the hobbies, whatever it is that helps you make you feel fulfilled. It might even give you a little bit of money to boot. To boot, right? Um, it's kind of an issue for you. And it's kind of an issue for me because you go from the 10 to the 7 to 1. I mean, you go back up to 5, but that that's beside the point. Like, the, the numeric order is like... Like, I don't even know how to subtract all of that for it to make sense. Like, these two right here would be the Eight of Pentacles, but then it'll go right to the Six of Pentacles reverse, the way I'm looking at it. Like, shit wasn't very fair. You're looking over stuff that was almost like enabling behaviors within this environment that you're confused of. And it's like, um... I don't know, it's almost like somebody wants to uh, give more coin to see if anything's happening, but the door is here open. Just like up here. But with this door, you're guarding it because you're trying to manifest something different. So someone might be trying to gain entry and offer you treats in order to get you in. Either it's money, 
either it's sex, either it's that awesome cake from Bonnie Bells. Oh my god. Like, Bonnie Bells is so good. Right? It's almost like somebody wants to make an offer to you guys after they left you out in the cold. And they're following you around with their limp dick and shit, right? Because you're trying to be happy despite the fact that you're healing from a broken heart. And you're still pretty sad about all of this adventure where either you or another person, along with a third party, they got put out in the cold. It's like, it, this money came after you were already in poverty. It's like, even when you offered something, it just still kept you in a bad state because this person who you were dealing with possibly just wasn't as helpful as they seem. All right. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. What's up with that this week? Someone might be being the selfish dick and just being like, I don't care, and just tipping the cup you just poured for him out. So you pack up your shit and you're just like, all right, bye, bitch, whatever. Um, you're tired of being hung up by this person. They give you excuses to hang around even though you feel like it's time for you to go. You're not happy. You feel like dragging one of the children into the fire and eating its flesh with the rest of the cannibal people. And you feel like someone is way too focused on money to really give you what it is that you need. Like, you know, money's fine and all that, but this person's literally staring at their reflection like mira mira on the wall. And, and, and it's like, you know, that's a pentacle, but whatever. You know, so that's your shadow this week, Gemini. Be very careful of somebody um, trying to find a way in, even after they possibly went and fucked everything up. I feel like. All right. Oh, but uh, be aware that might, there might be somebody who catches your fancy. Libra, my little love bugs, it's your turn. What is going on for your week? With your shadow, huh? Let's see. What's what the fuck is that? It sounds like traffic and static, and I, and I know, being on the internet, that's not how that shit. It's not radio. It's not. Yeah, turn that down. Thank you, Libra. You have eight of wands reverse stagnation. Nothing's changing. Nothing's moving. And there is the emperor. Someone is being a controlling dick. For the most part. Or just being really, really hard-headed, I feel like. And that's why there's no movement. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. Re yeah, there, there's nothing hap There's not a damn thing happening. But it's like somebody doesn't want to move to make that shit happening. Either. Or happen. I mean, not happening. Happen. Let us see. Y'all are in luck, because I am drinking tonight, so it's a good night. It's my Friday, so I get two days off. Yay. I might upload, like, the Zodiac mids early. I'm not... I haven't decided yet. Just so you guys know. I probably won't say for the other ones, but you guys get a sneak peek since first. Yay. Nothing's moving in a relationship. Eh, eh, what? Someone's acting stubborn by staying busy, but, like, this Wheel of Fortune's the wrong idea. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Libra. Ooh, you got the Ten of Pentacles, too. And there you are, looking for something, guarding something. Hmm. Libra, what is going on with your shadow, my loves? Because it seems like to me, um, you're kind of avoiding something. Just putting that out there. Oh god, I just turned on my phone, so everything just came the fuck right in. Okay, that's fine. I'll check it later. Doesn't matter. Anyway, leave right, you're more important. Anyway, it seems like you're being... Okay. Um... Libra, it seems like, especially with the King of Swords right here, like you're avoiding somebody. Particularly King of Pentacles. It's like, nope, 
I'm not letting you win. You're just gonna have to take the sword. You're not saying anything I want. You know, like you're. It's like you're defending yourself from somebody from back in the day, and you're trying to move forward from the past, away from a situation with another person. I feel like, which is like that's kind of typical for you guys. You guys always are into like people who are like I like I don't know like the friend I had for like 15 years. She's always in the people who treated her like shit. You know, and then like wanted to act surprised when I told them. They were shit. It was just like, surprise! Okay. Anyway. So. Yeah, it's like, um... So there's no movement with this relationship between you and another person, possibly King of Pentacles, right? And that person's supposed to be a provider, but it's like you're gatekeeping it's like you're only allowing certain things to fit the measurement, the mold, or whatever. You know, um, my neighbor, who is a Libra, did that a lot, too. That guy, he hasn't been around. I don't know if he's still alive or in jail, but I, I wish him the best, right? But this cat was like... Every time he would get with somebody, he'd immediately find something wrong with them. It was like, oh, well, it was like this one time, like, he would talk about, like, it, he was interested in this girl, and what happened was, he was interested in this girl, but then he would get mad at her for not doing really specific petty shit, you know, like, oh, I only like ga coffee from this certain gas station, and she keeps going to the gas station that's closer to her house and I keep telling her no that's not what I want it's got to be that good Colombian shit even though all gas stations have the same type of coffee like it's something like that that's really petty and if this isn't you this is the person you're dealing with but I feel like you're gatekeeping what they're able to do in the position as the provider you know like it feels like things aren't moving forward with you with the wheel of fortune reverse but the ace of swords is reversed as well so it's like There's something you're not seeing with this family or this bizarre event. You know, like everyone's gathered together, everyone's having a good time. Uh, you might be in a pairing that isn't too good for you, you know. And it's like you're trying to... Like, I don't know why I keep getting gatekeeping. Somebody's saying gatekeeping when it comes to what you allow. And it has something to do with, like, past events, past people, past situations, right? But unfortunately, we got the Emperor up here who's trying to be stubborn by working himself to death. But all that working to death is bringing on the tower. It's just, like, the longer he sits there not even trying to rule or be the Emperor or whatnot, um, the more diligent he works. But it's like... He's working towards the tower. I don't know, man. Like, that's an odd one. All right. Let's find out why you're gatekeeping. That's right. Mr. Momo has the most dramatic music. <laughs> but Libra, I wouldn't have it any other way. You deserve it, my darling. Mm. Let's see. Why are you being the gatekeeper with the King of Swords? Because I feel like that's his position right now. Like, it's like you're trying to keep something away or keep somebody away. Um, there's somebody who you gave a wreath to when you came in for your victory, thinking that everything was set in the place for this new cycle. And then you just decided to kill somebody. You decided to attack somebody. What the hell? Okay. You're protecting this cycle, is what you're doing. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you are. You are going in to destroy anything that might fuck it up, because you don't... What? Huh. Because you don't want to feel the way you did before. Leaving somebody who... Actually gave a shit, and now doesn't. Like, this dude done already walked away, this bitch is looking it over, she's, and now she's just like, You know what, you want to leave all this and knock it all over? Fine, that's cool. I am totally cool with that. I'll just carry my one cup and walk away from the all. It's like a split that's so severe. 
huh? I feel like I should have kept my mouth shut. Anyway, that's your shadow, Libra. Was not expecting that. Aquarius, your shadow is next. Libra, please be um, cautious. I know you're kind of vetting people this week for some reason, but I feel like you might be a little bit more prejudiced than what you mean to be. Anyway, on to Aquarius. What's up with your shadow, y'all? Oh, you just want to this. You, you feel like arguing with somebody. You're just like, you know what? I'm in the mood to make someone feel stupider than I am today. You know, especially after a third party situation went down. Ooh, boy. And now you got to sit there and make a decision. Do you fight for something or do you let it go? That's the real question. You're tired of feeling left out in the cold? Do you feel like this motherfucker just... Wait. Do you feel like you caused this to happen? Because I don't think so. Like, that's a... Like, don't think that way about yourself. I mean, you could have if you're the one going out doing the third party shit. But, like, if you didn't do it... You know. Um, you're trying to decide whether to leave the door open or not is what you're trying to do. Gotta make a choice. Yeah, you're making choices, dude. You are making choices in order to get your mind right. Mmm. I'm leaving this one alone because I don't need to know the other side. Basically, there was a third party that somebody manipulated and then went out of hand and then it backfired because the magicians reversed, right? And now. The sun's reversed. Like, nobody's happy. Nobody feels happiness in this situation. A lot of people are actually pretty upset. Hmm. So over here, Aquarius, it seems like... You are dealing with so much horse shit. Hmm. It's kind of like you want to ride in the fight in order to get out of this cold party. Or cold party. This uh, third party, which is all the way over here, right? It's completely separate. But you feel like you need to fight in order to get the fuck back out of the cold. But then we got the lovers, and it's like, I don't feel like this is a relationship because nothing's getting resurrected. Nothing here is a good idea. Except trying to get out of this bad mentality. But it's like you're confused on what choices to make in order to leave this door open in order to keep your mind right. Like, what choice are you going to make that's going to allow this door to open in order for you to leave your mind right? Because, you know, I don't see any good ideas and I don't see anything getting resurrected either, man. And I don't know why you're rushing in to argue with somebody, neither. It's not even like you're in for confrontation. It's like, uh... Word salad. It's like you're talking too much. Or you're talking so much. Like, I don't know. There's like something that's bothering you to where you feel like you need to defend yourself a lot. Or making you feel like, you know, you're not very happy with how things are going, I feel like. Like you're making excuses, which I think is what the talking's about. For why you think you deserve more than what's been given to you after all the work you've done. Um, or else you're just gonna fucking skedaddle. Be like, you know what? Bye. I'll find somewhere else that'll appreciate me a little bit better. That might not work to the way you think it will. Or it doesn't work to its grand genuity. So then you just want to go and party. You're just like, hey, it's nice to meet you, Betsy. Um, I'm Steve. Steve Wilkos, you know. Like, that, like oh my god. Like that. Who said that? Somebody said somebody said some bullshit like that. Anyway, um, air signs. That's what I got for you this week. Aquarius, I feel like you need to... And don't take this the wrong way. Um, you need to calm the fuck down. Because I feel like, especially with the Snyder Sword, you're going to be erratic. Or you're going to be saying a lot more than what needs to be said. 
which I feel like is not going to work in your favor. Like, ugh. But that's the end of the reading, y'all. If you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. You want a personal reading? All the infos in the description box below. I am here. I am available, and I am all yours. Love your faces. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.